Esteemed chiefs and queen mothers, imams, traditional rulers, reverend ministers, distinguished guests, media house, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol reserved. We are here as a body of inner city of Rabbi chiefs and queen mothers. The inner city of Traba chiefs and queen mothers have been existing for so many years now, but we thank the almighty God for how far he has brought this council. May his name alone be glorified. And inner city consists of four personalities. We have the tribal chiefs and the queen mothers. We have the imams. We have the reverend ministers. And we have the traditional leaders. We have all come together under one umbrella because we love our country, Ghana. And we want to work together to lift up the image of our country, Ghana. Of our mission statement and a vision statement. Our vision is to encourage and lift up the image and culture, social, intellectual well-being of our people, individuals, communities to the highest level. Our mission is to bring harmony and understanding and tolerance among indigenous chiefs, queens, and the people towards the realization of our vision. Yes, our vision is now the image of our country today is dying off. Our culture, which God has given unto us, go to the north. We say they have a very nice tradition and they have culture. The culture is what brings us together. The culture is going away. Come to the south. The culture that we know, the beautiful culture is going away. Go to the east. The culture over there is going away. West also, the same thing. But this is the time, that inner city, we have come together to work as a team, to build up all the image that have been lost to come together. Now, we have a few challenges that the council have observed. What is the Ghanaian situation here? Now, Ghanaian situation here has been like a landlord who have borrowed from his tenant in the house. So that the landlord is in the house, but the house is being controlled by the tenant. That's where we find ourselves now. We, the chiefs and the queen mothers, we have sold our right to our foreigners. We are in the country today, but what are we seeing? We are being controlled by foreign powers. But this is the time that inner city is standing up to fight so that we can go ahead and maintain our nice culture, the beautiful one that God has given us. Now, our youth are actually idle, eventually doing nothing. What can we do for our youth? But our chiefs and the queen mothers, we should not forget that these are our youth we are seeing today. They are our, our future leaders. So what mantle are we living up to them? What are we giving out to them that if we are no more, they can take up our leadership? It's the time for us, we the chiefs and the queen mothers, we have to hold up to the youth and see how Thank best you. we can bring them together to us and train them. Thank you. Our culture, that shows our identity, is also fading away. We are now adopting what we call the foreign culture. So look at what we are displaying here today. Is it not very nice? Is it not very beautiful? But now we are trying to imitate or copy a foreign culture. This is a time in a city we are up and doing that we are avoiding and maintaining the tradition 
and the culture which brings us together. The culture is the way we do our things. The difference in do our things. You see this morning and this afternoon, look at what is happening. The, the Ewe people are here. The Northerners are here. The Eastern, the Western, they are here. Look at what they are displaying. Is it not beautiful? We need to emulate and maintain that and let our children follow it up. Thank we, you. We have solution to all that we have observed as a council. Our chiefs and queen mother should rise up to these challenges because we own the land. We own all the resources that we are holding. The gold, the bauxite, name them, the oil, name them all. We own it, the chiefs and the queen mothers, we own it. And we shouldn't forget that is the almighty God who have actually given us to be a leader at this particular time. So, so uh, the council, therefore, have got solution and we are trying to implement what we are calling a day-born concept. A day-born concept is going to unearth all the talent which is hidden in our youth. Thank you very much. Thank you.